Forget about your neighbor. Levala ka mong kawe. Speak to him. Bualen. Did you hear the message? A utuya malait. I'm going to minister to all of you before we cut the cake. There are many cakes there. You're all going to eat at the back there. But I want you to hear this. Speak to God. Right now. The sons of the prophet had deeper knowledge. Elisha had deeper knowledge. May the Lord give you that knowledge according to Jesus' promise. Speak right now. Do not see them from the outside. See them from within. Speak now. Speak. Forget about your neighbor. Speak. Forget about your neighbor. Forget about your neighbor. Speak. Speak now. I believe God has given you a revelation. Ask him to wash your mouth, to wash your mind, to wash your heart from making references that would fall to the ground. Let there be a reference for it is written. Men shall not live on prayer alone, but by the word that proceeds from the mouth of God. If it's from the mouth of God, it will never fall to the ground. Speak. Speak. Say those words. Speak, speak, speak. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Speak to him. Ask him to fill you with his eye. Ask him to fill you with his hearing. That whatever you do, even as a leader or as a Christian, not to look at stature, not to look at height, but to see from within. Speak, speak, speak. Bua. Bua Leona. Those who are watching by the telecast, begin to speak as well. Speak. I'm in your midst. I'm changing even your thoughts. I'm changing your heart. Yes, I'm changing your thinking. I'm bringing you to a place. You are to take this place. A place prepared for everyone. You are to stand. You are to remain. This is the place. You are to be established. You are to be strengthened. And none shall break such a container. For it's a horn that grows. It's a horn that never stops growing. Light shines on you. I'm doing spiritual operations. I'm doing spiritual operations. I'm changing the hearts. I'm changing the minds. I'm changing your thoughts. I'm giving you ways from above. Yes, I'm giving to you. Be restored. Be restored. Be given life. Be restored. Be restored. I'm changing your visions. You will never see the way you used to see. You will never hear the way you used to hear. I'm changing your hearing. I'm changing your visions. 
I'm changing your ways. And this is the moment where I begin to order your steps. I'm ordering your steps. Now taking you where you did not want to go. I'm dressing you. I'm putting the spirit upon you. I'm putting my mental, my spirit upon you. I'm giving you my mental, I'm giving you my spirit. I'm giving you my mental, I'm giving you my spirit. My mental, my spirit upon you. Jipakadupa rita sikapata. Ripata sipakata shut lika shuda kuta lindra pera hira para hira para kisha kupa chete linda korosi kapaya linda kisha chalegera. I'm making you a rest pieces. I'm raising new people right now. A people of regeneration that I spoke about. I'm raising witnesses. Yes, light shines on all of you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Spiritual operations are opening right now. Spiritual operations are happening. Hearts getting opened. The mind getting opened. Light shining on you. Light shining on you. We are going to ride not like the common people ride, write things that were never done before. You are going to be innovative, revealing things that people has never done before. Revealing things that people have never done before. Yes, they will hear. Not only hearing, but they will also see. Yes, with the physical eyes, with the physical ears, they will hear. But it will cause them to believe in what you're doing. Therefore, they will follow. As their spiritual eyes will be open, as their spiritual ears will be opening. Spiritual operation is happening right now. Spiritual operation is happening right now. Operations are happening. Nivra la bia, nivra la bia, nivra la bo bo shite la katos, hipra pila bisto brika, bisha la kupa, hita, hipa tala, hipa tala, hipa tala, hita lono si abrika ni yelo gunda shite, hita la pastore kete aloda, eli barada dumba tisha, lika pura tu sikra, linda beredi la koro, tongues are confrontational. This is the language from above. Yes, speaking with God and yet operating some people. For the negotiation is on your behalf. The negotiation is for your ministry. The negotiation is for your life. The negotiation is for you to change. The life of the Lord of God has come. They surely heal a murder. They be God to see Kapara. Yishela Kapara did kush te. Elebele kedea. Receive the light that continues to shine. Receive the light that remains and give him much better fruits. Fruit of better quality. Fruit of better quality. Much fruit in your life. As you continue to become fruitful, you become fruitful. For this is fruit that lasts, fruit that remains. This is fruit that remains. The love, the light of God shines on all of you. Na sila mana dodo sila niere ne mara le paroto si anda jika je je tu si kapara jira oru poru yeda je tu soko por kush tiringle dosia lemba para dasaka. Whatever you see as the Lord opens your eyes now. Whatever you hear as the Lord opens your spiritual ears now. Begin to draw it in. Begin to believe. 
Begin to throw it in. Throw it in, throw it in, throw it in, throw it in, throw it in. Throw it in, throw it in, throw it in. As you believe, you are throwing it in. As you believe, you are putting it in. Come up the mountain. Come up the mountain. Come up the mountain. Spiritual mountain full of grace. Welcoming and receiving you. Come up. Come up. Where you shall continue with mysteries. Where you shall speak mysteries. Light shines on you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Light shines on you. Holy Spirit. Move them now and make their lives your very own life. Spirit, move over them. Oh, Spirit, move. Sora, Pieta Taseca Tosso, Sita Pata, Porati Tocotusiana, Nembre Ita, Nembre Ita, Nembre La Purusha Tatastara Tenda, Nicura Peratusia, Gino Cotusilla Parapida, Nombre Tadasica Pata Sula Tenda, Ginda Talata Seca Parapicha Chuba. Linda Rakota Sula Piadadunda, Di Koshala Tishalananda, Nipa Katapu, Lita Lotupa, Lita Latastika Tasaka Roslavak, Li Koshala Tas. Nambara para tanto tal sana para andar de aquele ato sair. Lenda cantou se ela mora do se ela tenta. Lisa Júlia de Ibarra Zupé. E cantou se ela tenta pira. E tapas a la tu chata na tasteira para. Upa chata capuba. Lisa la tasteira.
salah di ano no 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 Over all three of us for a skip over.
Sister Father is now praying for. She is suffering from epilepsy. Spirit of epilepsy, you go. He's at work. Okay, I'll also pray for the father. Ne? Yes. Are you married? No. There's an issue in your life. Ne? Yes. There's an issue. You're not married, ne? Yes. There's an issue. Are you staying with the father? No. Who has she normally been looking for? She's, huh? she's looking for the father. For the father. Let's live for Jesus. She's looking for who? For the father. It troubles her. Sometimes she just sits alone like she's crazy. Yes. Huh? Yes. Huh? Yes. God loves you. <laughs> She's looking for the father. I'm saying there were issues yes. between the two of you. No? Between She's looking for? she and me. No, no, no. I'm talking about the father. Yes. You get it, no? Yes. Yes. And she's been looking for? For the father. Who is she talking about? The father. The father. So it thinks a lot about who? The father. Uh -huh. So it troubles. So she's not going what she go through because of what happened. She suffers because of that issue, ne? Yes. Yes. Because that's what she's been asking. Ne? Yes. God loves you. Father, have mercy on your daughter. Set her free, Lord. Spiritual operation is happening on your mind. Father, set her free. Remove this depression. This depression leaves you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This depression goes. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you have depression, you go out completely. In Jesus' name. Amen. Stand up. What's your name? God loves you, God loves you. Often when things come through depression, it starts to generate in the spirit. Yes. Yes. God loves you, Yes, Pastor. But I'm just praying for her. Okay, I'll talk to you guys, ne? Yes. Just to take both of you through, ne? Because she's looking for the father. You get it? Even the young one. They talk about the father. Yes. yes. So it causes depression on them. Was she born with epilepsy? No, it's just now, a pet. Yes. As she grows up, she keeps on talking about who? The father. The father. Was she born with it? No. She was not born with this. Now the young one also speaks about? The father. The father. So you come together. I'll speak to you. But don't worry. So God loves you. Ne? God loves you. God is going to set you free. Yes. Ne? Amen. We'll sit down. I'll take it through. Where's the young one? I left him at home. Okay, I'll speak to both of you. I'll give you scripture so that you can sit down with the young one. Eh? Yes. Yeah, so that God can bless you. Tio, you're free. Bless you. Thank you. Bless you, Tio. Bless you, Tio. You're free from epilepsy. So, it's brought about by? The, 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 the brain. Depression. You get it, ne? Yes. Becoming so depressed. Talking about one thing. One thing. Our father, the father. They cried a lot. It's depression. God loves you, eh? Bless you. You'll write them, I'll see them after. Bless you guys, bless you. <laughs>
Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is RTV World for Four Men is Captured. And blessed viewers, this is the grand finale of the spiritual birthday of our Father, the date of the uh, 27th of September, 2024. And I have with me here, mother and daughter, whom I would like them to introduce themselves, tell us their names and as to where uh, are they coming from. I'll start with our mother here, Mama. Greetings in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, son of the living God. My name is Mudlahomang Madludling. I come from Zerast. Uh, beautiful. And then um, I'm going to ask also her daughter to introduce herself. Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus. My name is Sofat Madludling. I come from, Z from Zerast Mokhuling. Uh, beautiful. Blessed saints, we are speaking with uh, Mama um, and the, her daughter here. And on the prayer line, they requested our Father Prophet Siho Daniel. Mama explained to our Father Prophet Siho Daniel that um, Siho Faso is experiencing epilepsy. So as a result, our Father ministered life and light unto the daughter here. So I'm going to ask our mother as to, you know, can she take us through, you know, as to when did this sickness started and as to what really happened and you know what has transpired mama uh, the epilepsy started when Sohofazo, she was two years and then from there it stops for a long time and it started again when she is great in grade eight mm. and then what causes the sickness at the hospital when she was two years they said she has no problem and then they discharged us mm. And then in grade eight, we still didn't know what was the cause. And when she is about to have this seizure, she will be sad, sitting alone in the corner in the house, in the couch. And from there, she will be angry with anyone. She will shout with anyone. After that, she will have more episode of this epilepsy. About three in a day, maybe it will take three days having three today, tomorrow having twice. And then the third day she will be unconscious doing the things that is not well or normal. And when you are trying to call her to rebuke her, what are you doing? You will find out in the face that she is not conscious she will look at you, but not not knowing what was happening with her. Thank you. Beautiful. So, Mama, um, during, um, I would say, the first consultation when she was two years old, uh, did they put Sohofazo on medication or, you know, what did they say at the hospital? They ran many tests. And then it all came negative and they discharged us. They didn't put her in any medication. They just said, she is fine. She has no problem. Mm. And then we came back home mm. without nothing. Mm. She started medication now. The doctor is still doing the research. But in the meantime, he suggested that let me put her on this medication to minimize the seizure in the meantime when we are trying to figure out what is the cause. Mm. Thank you. Ah, beautiful. So I'm going to speak to the daughter here, Soho Faso. Soho Faso, you know, as I believe you are a student, how old are you, Soho Faso? I'm 16 years old. Mm. Beautiful. So, you know, I believe, and what grade are you uh, in at the moment? I'm, I'm in grade 10. Oh, beautiful. So, Tsukofazo, since you are a grade 10 student, um, you know, how would these uh, uh, seizures or uh, epilepsy affect you, you know, as a student? Uh, you know, how will it affect you in your books? Can you please, um, you know, explain to our beautiful viewers out there, uh, Sister Tsukofazo? When I'm trying to read something like a Greek or maths literacy, Nothing can enter my brain and I, co I couldn't even take check everything in my brain. And when I'm trying to, to read, nothing can even breathe. When I'm trying to, to, to read, I can't read. I'm, I'm getting angry when my mother tells me to read. I just don't want to touch books. I just want to 
watch television and not what and and not what watch my books <laughs> and my mother just gave me the advice that if you don't read you will fail so i just started to to read and when i read nothing does enter my brain mm. but i just tried and i tried but something just entered but i i'm i'm just going to try by the lord Beautiful. So, Sister Tsukofazo, after our father, Prophet Soho Daniel, ministered love and light, meaning prayed for you, you know, how is your mind at the current moment, Sister Tsukofazo? My brain is feeling fine right now. I don't feel any anything and I don't even feel anything in my brain. I don't think that, that this epilepsy epi epi is going to, to, to come back in my brain or, 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 or in my brain in my studies mm. and i do believe that this term and this term for i will pass this term mm. yeah mm. beautiful i love the positivity and our father prophet soho daniel you know explain you know to the mother here that she is delivering a uh, so from the spirit of epilepsy and he mentioned that it's no longer there so um and our father also mentioned that Tofazo was not born with epilepsy so our father mentioned that there is a root cause um the root cause uh, it is because Tofazo is thinking a lot um with regards or pertaining you know to her father so i'm going to ask our beautiful mother here you know to take us through that and even our father on the ministration of Tofazo mentioned that Tofazo is asking about her father and um, you know let mama take us through mama what are the questions that Tofazo would ask pertaining to her father so far so, when I return home from work, she's always asking me, when is my father coming? Did he call you? Did he say anything to you? Is he going to call you tonight? Such questions. And then Papa prophesied today asking me, whom is always so far so asking about? And I told him, is the father, he is always, she is always asking me, about the father and then papa confirmed that the root cause is from the father thank you and in this ministration our father prophet Soho Daniel mentioned that you know Tofato is thinking a lot and as a result it has caused depression and this depression has developed into epilepsy but the epilepsy is no longer since our father you know prayed for Tofato and our father even mentioned something profound that you know depression you know can emerge you know some issues in the spirit but we believe that you know so far so has been delivered from this sickness is no longer as you have heard beautiful saints that she's saying her mind is okay she feels light so mama um you know and our father even mentioned that so far so would you know sit alone as if you know she's crazy can uh, our mother you know take us through um through um i would say the behavior that Tohovato had because now she has been prayed for she is held um the sickness is no longer but i'm just going to ask mama here to take us through you know uh, such a behavior which was there before mama please i do confirm that papa was telling the truth when he says Tofazo displays the, the, the depression. Tofazo sometimes she sit alone, not wanting to interact with us at home. From there she will get angry from everyone in the house telling us things that is heavy. And then after that, after a few minutes or few hours, she will experience more episode of seizure. Thank you. Mm. And I love what our father, you know, uh, ministered unto Tsofazo, actually, and the mother here. So our father mentioned the root cause that Tsofazo was not born with epilepsy. The issue here, it is because of the mind. Uh, Tsofazo thinks the Lord, uh, she asked a Lord about her father, and as a result, it developed um, depression, and uh, that depression caused, obviously, epilepsy. But our 
father prayed for Tsofa, so she's no longer having, you know, this uh, bad sickness. She has been delivered. So I'm going to ask Tsofa so that since our father prophet Soho Daniel prayed for him, you know, and our father was able to minister and locate, you know, this root cause, which is of the mind thinking a lot and depression. So, Father, since you are healed at the current moment, what can you say about Jesus Christ, whom is even using our father, Prophet Seho Daniel? I thank the Lord for, for, for fixing me in my body and for healing me in my body and in, in, and in my brain. I thank the Lord and I thank the, the professor Lisa Daniel for, for that the Lord is, is using him for healing us. Mm. I pray that the Lord heal him and, and, and make, make him the, 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 the largest pastor in the world. Mm. And I thank the Lord for doing that and for healing me. And I pray that the Lord always heal, heal me and when, wherever I do and whatever I do. The Lord may may help me with whatever I do. I thank the Lord and Professor Nisir. Oh, beautiful. What a beautiful words of appreciation. So, Mama, what words of appreciation can you say to the Holy Spirit, to Jesus Christ, whom is using our father, Prophet Lissor Daniel, for delivering your daughter from this bad sickness? Um, what can you say? What words of appreciation can you say? I thank... Lord Jesus and the Holy Spirit for using our father, Prophet Lesor Daniel, for delivering and healing my daughter from this epilepsy. And I pray that may the Holy Spirit grow him more, grow him more so that he can heal more people who, uh, who have problem with this same condition that my daughter had. Mm. Thank you. Mm. What a beautiful testimony indeed. You know, the Spirit searches for all things. So, and the Word of God says, you know, a spiritual man cannot be calculated, but he can calculate all things. So, we thank the Holy Spirit for delivering so far. So, and uh, the mother here, you know, she's being assisted. And I believe that, you know, she was worried as her daughter was going through this, you know, ordeal. But we thank God from above, you know, who heals us indeed and delivers delivers us whom the son says free is free indeed and we believe that sister Tofato and this beautiful family will come with many many more testimonies over and above this one so blessing says from us it is to God be the glory Memorable is not well. Marapa Rahatarana, Monio Mate, a Telemoto, Ulla Moto, Hotel, he has on Rotama, a Abutu. Mama has problems with the legs, especially the knees. She struggles to walk, and they're very painful. They're stiff. How's the pain, Mama? I don't know. Left, right, 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 Walk, walk.
Twin sister. Huh? Twin sister. This is my twin sister. <laughs> Has knee replacement. Knee she, replacement. She, what happened for knee replacement? No, it was just arthroscopy and then the the knee turned to the other side. Or oh, the knee and, turned to that side. Yeah. And so. I couldn't walk. Then where I'm working as a teacher, I've got to to, to use steps and huh? they say I'm, I'm, I'm not supposed to use steps so there's nothing I can do because it's work work is work very painful it's both now it's both then the physio has put me with the, the bandages inside Jesus Christ remains the healer, remains the deliverer. There's never been someone who can heal like Jesus Christ. There's no one who has ever delivered people like Jesus Christ. Jesus, hallelujah. She could not walk. She said her legs, both her legs were painful. Now, after spiritual operation, she's now able to walk. Let's clap hands more for our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There's this never is been a miracle. Like Jesus Christ. There's never been a deliverer like Jesus Christ. No, Jesus. Knee replacement, but now God has restored everything. Let's go for Jesus Christ. Twin sister, stand together. Let's see if you look the same. Come, twin sister. Walk together. Come here together. Yeah. The twin sister said that she could not walk. She would. Uh, she has to use stairs at school. At, at school where she works, and uh, it was very difficult. But after the spiritual uh, operation, she's now able to walk without the crushes that she came in with. You are saying we are 65 years old. Oh, yes. oh. And you look young. Yo, yo, yo. To God be the glory. She was 80. Now she came back to your age. Let's live for you. Go give your testimonies. Bless you. Let's live for Jesus. My feet is very sore. It's very sore. Yes. Yeah. Only Jesus is the best healer. Only Jesus is the best deliverer. Yes, Lord. There's never been anyone like Jesus. He's gone. Huh? He's gone. Jesus, let's clap hands for the Lord. 
is a miracle wonder working God. Let's clap hands for him. As she mentioned, her feet were sore immediately after the miracle performed upon her leg. She now says the pain is completely gone. Bless you, my friend. Go give a testimony. Bless you. Bless you. Greetings, viewers all over the world. We are live at RTV, where fulfillment is captured. Today, it is the grand finale um, of uh, Raboni's uh, 11th anniversary birthday. So, right next to me, I'm with our mother, who had a prayer request concerning uh, a painful right foot. But before we continue with the interview, I'm going to let our mother introduce herself, tell us her name and surname and where she's from. Messiah's greetings, Mama. Can you please tell us your name, surname, and where you're coming from? Greetings. My name is Doreen Nunyani. I'm from Kempton Park. Amen. Mama, you had a prayer request on the prayer line concerning a painful right foot. Um, when did the uh, pain start occurring and what happened when the pain was um, coming to your leg and how did you try to soothe the pain? Uh, the pain started three weeks ago and then... The, the pain just started to be worse and worse. And then I tried to massage it, but it doesn't uh, get well. So that's why I asked uh, uh, Papa Lissero to, 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 to pray for me. Amen, Mama. And uh, uh, Mama, what were you doing when the pain occurred? Uh, I, I used to to rub myself with a heat a heat rub a heat rub, but it's just the same. And I used to drink a lot of pain tablets, but it's just the same. Amen. And can you please take us through the ministration today when you told our father about the painful right foot? Yes, uh, I was waiting to be prayed for, but. Uh, Instead of being quiet, I, I said it aloud that my I've got a, 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 a sore feet. And then he, 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 he asked me where, and I showed him. And then he, he, he prayed for me over the pain. And then after that, he said, you are healed, run. And I ran. Amen. And Mama, were you able to run before? No, I was not able to run. Amen, amen. We thank God for your beautiful testimony. And what would you like to tell the viewers that are watching your testimony right now and probably also have a painful right foot? Uh, to anyone who is sick, come to Raboni. You'll be prayed for and then you'll be healed. Amen, amen. Mama, we thank you for your beautiful testimony. Blessed viewers, as you've heard, our mother got healed um, from the painful f uh, right foot uh, that uh, she was experiencing. And she also encouraged the viewers to come to church and also get prayed for. Amen, amen. And that is from our mother's testimony. To God be the glory. Amen. pain in my back, so I'm, 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 ew, I'm having something here, it's blocking me here, and I have a, a pain in my back. At home, we have termines inside the house, and I'm asking for one-on-one, -on -one, pap. One-on-one -on -one for termines? No, 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 no. I'm going to give you doom, don't worry. <laughs> Darkness, you live in. Check, check your thumb. Stay there, Papa. Yeah. 
It's still there, Papa. Yes, I still feel it. Huh? I still feel it. On the Papa. chest? The chest is fine now. But it started with the issue of the chest. Yes, yes. Ne? Mm. You would burp. Mm. Huh? Mm, mm. You would burp. Mm. And the air from behind yes. doesn't come mm. out normally. Mm, I'll have you a feel that bloated stomach. And mm. you eat, it's like your stomach gets full quickly. Yes, yes. And Papa. then you try to hide, like when the air comes out. Mm, mm, like mm. the fighting, mm, mm, mm. but God loves you. God is setting you free. In other words, the whole system, God sets you free. This witchcraft okay. leaves you completely. Mm, 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 witchcraft, mm, mm, get out! Mm, get out! Mm, you witchcraft, mm. take out. You live here. You come out by the roots. You come out by the roots. You separate from her. Check the throat. Huh? I don't feel anything. Huh? I don't feel I don't anything. Feel I don't feel anything. It's gone. Bless you. Let's go for Jesus. Go give your testimony. God loves you. Ne? Messiahs, greetings viewers all over the world. We're still in training in the matters of the kingdom with our father and then we still continue celebrating the grand finale of spiritual birthday of our father. And also we still continue celebrating the RTV 11th birthday. Here I'm with my sister. Can you please uh, introduce yourself, my sister? I'm Pilsa Wachilane from Nelson Street. Amen. Uh, while Papa was ministering, you asked for a prayer request regarding your throat. Can you please uh, take us further? When did it start? It started last day May. I feel like I'm having flu. So I did, I did went to the farmers and buy medication for the flu, but it didn't help me. So I asked for prayer line. I pray. I, 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 I called Pastor Elizabeth for prayer. She ministered for, to me. So, but uh, after that, the, the flu was gone, but the throat was the pain in the throat was still there. Amen. Did you seek any medical attention regarding that? No, after after that, I didn't. I didn't. I felt like because he, she ministered for, to me, I will be healed one day. Like it's a continuous deliverance. Amen. And our father furthermore said that you also feel chest pains and then also have bloating in your stomach. Can you please uh, take us further regarding that? The chest pain, like uh, when uh, I'm trying to clear my, my throat, the, the chest will like developing pains and, and heart pain. So it's when I feel like I have to burp. So the stomach, when I, sit, uh, when I sit for long, it's where like it started to raise, like I feel bloating and I, I, I won't be able to fat. Amen. Uh, also, after everything Papa Elizabeth ministered to you, how do you feel right now on your throat? Like the flu was gone, say the, the throat comes and goes, comes and goes. It's where that I tell myself, we'll say, one day I'll be healed, like it's a continuous healing. Amen. Regarding that, after Papa ministered to you through your throat and the bloating, how do you feel right now? 
now now i don't feel anything even the truth like i just cough but uh, and i don't feel anything now so furthermore did you cause any uh did it affect you before papa prayed for you or was it uh something that was severe and then it was a continuous thing like it will come and go like when like i feel this thing i will come here and i, I feel like i'm having sinus so sometimes when i split i will split like it's alive with blood Amen. Uh, can you please uh, tell us what would you like to say to the anointing of the house and the Holy Spirit and Papa as he ministered to you? I would like to say, Papa, thank you for being patient to us and show us love. And I would tell someone like, Uzi, if you believe in Christ and have faith, you will be get healed. Amen. And then after Papa ministered to you, how do you feel overall? No, I'm okay. I'm okay. Thank you, Papa, for the prayer. Amen. For me and to you, it's good to God to be the glory. From a womb problem, Papa. I'm suffering from a womb problem. I've got pains as a result. In each and every month, I have to see a doctor. And when this pain comes, it hits me on my head. And it has also affected my left eye. God loves you. How did, was your left eye affected? It, it, it cannot see. It's blind. Okay. God loves you. Yes, Papa. there papa it's 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 going out papa it's depreciating it's depreciating it's a little it's a little subsiding this but The pain is not there. Huh? The pain is not there, Papa. Huh? Pain the pain is, is not there, Papa. It's gone. Yes, Papa. It's gone. Yes, Papa. Bless you. God is with you. Go give your testimony, my friend. God Thank bless you. you. Papa. The headache will go, come and go, but I cannot no? feel it now. You cannot feel it. Go give your testimony. All is well. Views all over the world. Welcome again as we are continuing in our training in the matters of the kingdom, also celebrating the spiritual birthday of Ravani Center Ministries, RTV. So viewers all over the world, with me I have my mother. Our mother uh, spoke to Papa on the prayer line regarding the abdominal pains that caused her to have pains on the head and also on the left eye. So our sister, can you please confirm the prophecy to be true and also introduce yourself, who you are and where you come from? Messiah's greetings to all the viewers all over the world. My name is Nundu Tuzelo. I'm coming from the Eastern Cape. Uh, sister, can you please explain to us how did the abdominal pain start? The abdominal pain started in 2010 while I was pregnant with my first son. 
uh, it caused the pregnancy to complicate as a result of that I gave birth through C-section but the pain never stopped even after giving birth it would go and come Amen so our sister can you please uh, explain further to us uh, did what the, uh, the doctor said uh, did they give you any medication what happened during that time during that time i went to the gynecologist they gave me medication they did they even did the pap smear to to check the disease of the womb but nothing was found only the painkillers that they would give me to 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 control the pain okay in regards to the hair uh, the, the pains that you were feeling on the head what was happening with the head regarding the pains uh i i i consulted the the general practitioner they only give me the painkillers for the headache and also the optomno- optometrist and the ophthalmologist they only give me eye drops for the eyes okay regarding the eyes the eye drops what was happening with your eye the the, the left eye is unable to see due to the the the, the pain that it was found on my womb that is on my womb that was that was tormenting me on my womb as a result of that in the year 2023 papa gave a prophecy of someone who is having the eye problem i i i called the prayer line and i confirmed the prophecy to be to be true and papa further told me that prophesy upon my life that it is the mystery sickness that is causing that affects my eye Amen. So can you please uh, explain to us what uh, how, how did you suffer and what were you not able to do during the time when you were having abdominal pains? When I'm having the abdominal pain, I was unable to carry the 20 liter to fetch water as I used to. I have to carry the 5 liters. I was unable to work properly during winter or in in cold in cold weather or in rainy days. Uh, 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 I would have to 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 use the painkillers to just to maintain the pain because it would go and come. Okay, in regards to the medication that they have given you, can you also confirm again to the viewers all over the world that they did not work or did they work to help you? The 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 pain was the the, the medication was not working because it, it it will stop the pain and later the pain will also come. Hence I decided to present the matter to the father. When you came to church today, the pains were still there. The 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 pains were unbearable during the service. Hence, I, I, I decided that I have to present this matter to the Father. Amen. Viewers all over the world, as you can hear, our mother went to different doctors regarding the pains that were feeling on the abdominal pain, that regarded to the headache, that regarded to the eye being the problem now. So, Mama, can you please tell us or tell the viewers out there, uh, when Papa finished praying for you, how do you feel like, like right now as you speak regarding the headache, regarding the eye and also the abdominal pains? The abdominal after Papa prayed for me, the abdominal pains are no more. The 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 headache is no more, and the the pain that I, I was feeling after Papa prayed for me in regards to the eye, it is no more. Amen, amen. We all over the world. We thank so much uh, for watching this wonderful testimony. As Papa continue to minister upon people there in the auditorium, we say even you right there, world, you are at home. You can also raise your hand. You can also touch the screen and let the Spirit of God minister unto you. So, Mama, what can you say about what the goodness of God has done upon your life? The only thing that I can say is that all our lives are upon the Lord. Even if you can search them somewhere but our healing our deliverance are found in jesus christ only jesus is the healer amen amen we like to to give glory to the doctor of divinity our father professor Soko daniel for ministering life unto our sister and we believe that our sister is going to come with more testimonies and to me and you who are watching we say to god be the glory stay tuned with my car I took it for service it has three months now is it all that is there yeah don't worry let me lay a hand the hand will go to the root of your problems yeah. no? No?
the sound. But you guys, you will still see my life. In Jesus' name. Don't worry about your car. You'll bring your testimony. You won't forget this day, ne? God loves you. Light from Johannesburg. She's asking for prayers for her mother who's suffering from high blood pressure, kidney problems, and heart is surrounded by water. She's also asking for prayers for her daddy who's addicted to smoking. Whose medication is this? My mom. Huh? My mommy. It's your mom's medication? Yes, Papa. This is what your mom is using? Yes, Papa. So you came to stand on the behalf of your mom? Yes, Papa. And my Papa. And your father? Yes. Out of this house, you evil curse. Leave the house! The mighty name of Jesus Christ. You leave the house and you leave the children. Leave all of them. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Leave all of them. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. You separate from this family. You go. In the name of Jesus Christ, you leave them, you leave the mother, and you leave the father in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So, are you sisters? Oh, why do you look your hair? You do your hair the same. <laughs> Bless you. God loves you. Ne? Yeah. Don't worry. Ne? Don't worry. Can I whisper something to you? Oh, you want to gossip? Are we not gossiping? Oh, shit. No, no, no problem, no problem. Your, your dad can't do it. Huh? Okay, they can't. God loves you. Who's a dentist here? Who's a dentist? Who's a dentist? Come, run here quickly. Who's a dentist? Run. Dentist. I'm not calling you Sangoma, please. <laughs> dentist, I'm calling you I'm calling dentist. Run! Oh, she's not going to lean over. Okay, stand up. Stand up. Take this girl, ne? Take this girl, ne? Go make braces for her, and then you'll charge me, ne? Okay. So let's go make it beautiful, no? Ah. Yeah. No, yeah. She's job. going to fix your teeth, no? Oh. She's no longer gossiping now. <laughs> so, please, please do that, no? And you'll send the account to me. God loves you. God loves you. Tell your parents. God loves you. Oh, the friend is crying. Oh, shame. Has she been crying about this? 
Ms. Matebe from Muloto is asking for financial breakthrough. Ms. Penyo from Mafias, she's asking a lot and she's asking for her prayer life to be uplifted. She's also um, asking for financial breakthrough. Hurrah! 